everybody, today I'm going to be talking to you about how the Mortal Instruments series is becoming a television show. So Constantine Films, which holds the rights to the Mortal Instruments series becoming television or movies, sold the rights to the television show and it's going to be put into production next year. I think the whole entire fandom is very excited about this since the movie kind of sort of flopped. It only got 31 million dollars, which may seem like a lot to us people, but to the film industry, it's that's nothing. That's sadly nothing, and it's a shame because the books are so fantastic and can become such great movies or television shows if done right. And I think that this whole entire thing that's arisen from this, the television show being optioned, is quite interesting. When I first heard about it, I was kind of confused because I'm like, wait, this is really unheard of. A movie that may have flopped doesn't usually get resurrected into a television show, so this is very lucky for us, us fans of the Mortal Instruments series. Honestly, when I first watched the movie, The Mortal Instruments City of Bones, I loved it because I was such a dedicated fan, I'm still a dedicated fan to the series, but as time went on, I sort of noticed the flaws the movie had, which were quite a few, and now I understand why it did not get as much money as it would have if it was done more correctly. I know some of you will be like, Sasha, what are you talking about? Well, some of the things in the film could have been different, and it was really marketed to a teen audience, which was primarily its downfall in my opinion, and it was kind of really cheesy at some points. Like the hand coming out the portal, you know, that scene, that caressing Clary's face, just cringe. But some things they did really right in that, but with this television show being optioned, Everything is pretty much starting over from the very start, I believe. We don't know that much information as of right now, only what Hollywood Reporter reported, and if you want to know what they talked about down below, I'll put a link to that article. Constantine Films has hired Ed Dector to be the producer of the Mortal Instruments TV show, and he's done some TV show stuff that I'm familiar with, which includes The Client List, which I somewhat know about, but the other things that he's produced I'm not very familiar with, so I don't know how to like really judge his producing skills, so I'm just not going to, but um, they're still waiting to see what network they'll put the TV show on, but honestly, I think that this type of book, the Mortal Instruments series, would do really well on a either premium channel, which I know some people are like, I don't have premium, it's too much money, but they do make amazing shows, like fantastic shows. Actually, my two favorite shows are on premium channels. One is Stars, and that is Outlander, and one is HBO, which is Game of Thrones. Fantastically done shows, just so on point and perfect, and I think that the Mortal Instruments series could definitely do well in on a premium channel, definitely. And if not a premium channel, I would have to say that the CW Network would definitely do a good job with it, or hopefully will, because some of their shows have not been that great, but a lot of them have been fantastic. It's definitely a good network. So I'll be happy to see it on CW, too. There's also the big thing about recasting, and I know that some of us love the cast of Lily Collins, Jamie Campbell Bauer, Kevin Zegers, Godfrey Gao, um, Jemima West, all those wonderful actors and actresses. But honestly, personally, as much as I love that cast, I think that they should start over with a fresh slate. Just start it over, wipe it clean, start new and fresh-minded, not with the same actors. Even though I love these actors, I think they're amazing, and I've met them. I met some of them at the Mortal Instance Mall Tours, they're so nice. But I think that'll be great to get some new actors in on this film. Not saying that any of the actors that were in the movie, they were all great actors. Amazing actors, actually. But... I think that with the TV show version, I think it'll be good to recast just everybody. At first, I was quite conflicted about how I felt about this TV show business, and I posted on The Shadowhunters, my Instagram account, um, just saying how conflicted I was. And I know some of you guys are very conflicted about this too. Some of you are really excited about it, some of you don't want anything to do with it, that you don't want it to happen whatsoever, and very passionate about that. But there's always going to be different sides of this whole entire spectrum of the television show. I thought over it a lot and I think that creating a television show out of the Mortal Instruments series is definitely a good idea, honestly, but it has to be done right. It cannot be turned into like the selection TV show or Delirium. Yes, those are great books, but they were very poorly done television shows and were not accurate to the books whatsoever, especially the selection. Like, if you read the script for the selection TV show, <laughs> No! Ugh. Ugh. I can't believe they even like, no, just, it makes me cringe. So as of right now, we do not know that much about the television show, and 
I know that this is really getting our hopes up, just being like, oh, the Mortal Instrument series is getting a second chance, which I think is so fantastic, and it really deserves one, because it's one of my favorite series out there, and it definitely deserves a second chance, because if it's done right, it could definitely be out of this world. But only if it's done right. It has to be done very, very well, because there's some elements in this story, in this whole entire world, that can be easily done wrong, and then either be misinterpreted as cheesy, or just weird or unbelievable and I hope that whatever network uh, picks it up does it justice honestly and I hope the writers do it justice, the producers, the directors, the actors, everybody should do it justice. But I'm really happy to know that Constantine Films did not just give it up. Like Martin Mose something with he's the producer of the film um I his last name's really hard to pronounce but he never gave up on it and that means a lot because honestly just yesterday I was thinking like oh they probably um they probably just gave up on it because it was so weird that yesterday I was literally thinking like we're never gonna get news about City Bashes and they're just gonna leave us hanging forever and ever and ever and that's not like that's honestly not right they should at least give us some a definite answer and today they did and I hope that it goes through. I hope it pulls through. I hope that the television show does happen. At least the pilot should happen. I know you guys are really excited about this, but I don't want you to be disappointed if it does not happen because there is a likelihood that it may not happen. There's a likelihood it will happen. It's really unknown right now to what will actually happen. And in the article on Hollywood Reporter, they said how it'll go into production next year. So that'll be great. And we'll be getting the casting in the next few months. Um, but you never know with these things. And I know you're really excited right now, but just remember that it might not happen, but that does not mean that you can't be excited about it because there's also the probability it will happen. And if it does happen and it's done the right way, it'll freaking be amazing. And I would love to see this really just blow us all away because it definitely can. The books blew me away and I think that the television show definitely can too. So as of right now, we don't know that much information besides what I just told you. So if you want to know more information as it comes up, definitely follow my Mortal Instruments Instagram account. It's at the Shadow Hunters. I'll keep you guys updated with whatever news arises because I would love for you guys to stay up to date because I know now that we know something, I know I would want to stay up to date with whatever happens because hopefully we'll start getting more news. So as I was saying, sorry, my memory card filled up so I could not finish that last part of the video, but I'm filming on my computer, so I apologize for the work quality and the different sound and everything. But as I was saying, I'll try to keep you guys updated the best I can with all the information that has been coming in. There hasn't been much ever since it was announced yesterday, but we never know when we'll get more information about the television series. So hopefully they'll keep us updated throughout this whole entire process, and I'll keep you guys updated as much as I can throughout this whole entire course of events. I'm really excited though. I'm really excited to see what may happen out of this because it could lead to great, great things. So let's cross our fingers and hope for the best. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye!